The American diagnosed with Ebola is now in critical condition. He's been quarantined in Texas, and officials there are trying to calm fears, saying the virus can't spread in the country. More than 3,400 people have died from Ebola in West Africa. And as Vashi Capellos reports, both Canada and the U.S. are stepping up efforts to help fight the deadly disease. A Texas community remains on edge five days after the first case of Ebola in the U.S. was diagnosed. Hazmat crews worked to decontaminate the Dallas apartment Thomas Eric Duncan shared with a family. Duncan is now in critical condition. The family, quarantined for the last four days in the apartment, has finally been able to leave. It has been tough because no one wanted them, okay? And so someone was kind enough to offer up a private residence that is gated. Officials say there are nine people who had contact with Duncan and another 40 who might have. So far, the news is good. None of those with definite contact had any symptoms related to Ebola. None of them had fever. The CDC continues to try and quell fears of an Ebola outbreak in the U.S., insisting every precaution is being taken. Like today, when officials from the organization quarantined a flight from Brussels in New Jersey after a man thought to be from Liberia started vomiting. Nineteen Canadians have tested negative for Ebola, while six Americans have contracted the disease. The latest, a freelancer working with NBC, Ashoka Mukpo. He'll be flown to Nebraska tomorrow for treatment. He's doing quite a bit better. Um, uh, his spirits are up today uh, as we're starting to get closer to the medevac plane getting out. Mukpo had been working in Liberia at the center of this epidemic, which continues to spread throughout West Africa. The U.S. has now committed about 3,600 troops to the region. Today, Health Minister Rana Ambrose announced Ottawa is sending a second mobile lab. The second mobile lab is going to be working with Médecins Sans Frontières, Doctors Without Borders, to make sure that the infection uh, disease prevention, that are in, prevention measures that are in place are working. So far, Ottawa has contributed more than $35 million to fight Ebola in West Africa. Still, Ambrose admits there are challenges. We know Canadians have been very generous, and we hope that more Canadian healthcare workers are willing to go over and support the effort. A difficult decision for anyone to make as the situation in West Africa continues to get worse, with few signs of getting better. Bashi Capellos, Global News, Ottawa.